More than a week into the mayor's new policy that has APD and federal immigration agents working side by side, we wanted to know if it has led to more illegal immigrants being detained. News 13's Ian Schwartz is live downtown with the numbers so far. Anyone who is worried the new system would lead to the feds detaining a huge number of illegal immigrants doesn't need to worry quite yet. I would say that it's very successful so far. That is what police say about the new APD ICE partnership. Public Safety Director Darren White says in 10 days, APD has handed over 31 illegal immigrants to federal agents. Cops busted them on a variety of charges. From DWI all the way to criminal sexual penetration, real serious offenses. Despite the policy change, ICE agents' presence with prisoners is not new. They used to run fingerprints and screen arrestees at the main jail, flagging anywhere from 25 to 50 illegal immigrants a week. Some slip through the cracks, though, since ICE agents weren't there all the time, and only about half of all suspects' fingerprints were run through the federal database. Now almost all arrestees go through the prisoner transport center downtown before they're taken to jail. They're all fingerprinted, and they're all screened by ICE agents. Are people talking about it? Yeah, I think it's good. Alan Gonzalez works at a restaurant in the South Valley. He says the new policy has put many illegal immigrants he knows on edge. The people need it careful. Careful, doing everything good, nothing wrong. Something wrong, go back to Mexico. Now, 31 illegal immigrants detained in 10 days is about average compared to the old system. Back to you. All right, Ian. Now, almost 90% of all the people arrested in Albuquerque go through the Prisoner Transport Center. That'll go up to 100% when it opens full time. But the city must hire seven more people to do that.